Yo, are you tired of your designs looking flat and boring like this? Let me help you out. Big Fat Man Scoop, Brooklyn McClam. What's up, y'all? This is Fat Man Scoop. And right now, you're watching The Sensei, the number one, the king, my dude, Big Brando. He taught me, personally, me, Fat Man Scoop. All you got to do is keep your mouth closed and your ears open. Listen to the man talk. That's knowledge personified right there, and I wouldn't trust nobody else but my dude, Big Brando. And I said it. That man school, Big Brando! Let's go! What's happening, everybody? Boy, Big Brando, and today let's talk about changing your mindset when it comes to designs. This is something that I'm starting to notice a lot of, and people hit me up and they ask me to rate their designs or critique their designs, give them some kind of pointers because they aren't making any sales. Now, for myself, I personally do not think every design has to be like this, but I notice that this is a lot of people's mind frame when they go from doing vinyl designs and then they start using transfers. Now, if majority of your designs are single color, there is nothing wrong with having flat designs. One, because they're single color and two that might be the look that you're going for but a lot of times what i'm running into or what people are tagging me in is their products with just straight flat text on a t-shirt and they're using transfer companies like supercolor and transfer express and any of these other multicolor transfer companies whether they're DTF or they're screen printed, whatever it is. And then they say, oh man, I don't know why my t-shirts ain't selling. Can you help me out? Give me some pointers. And the first thing is always the flat text where it's just a standard bar text. Sometimes it gets a little boring. There's a space for that type of design in the world. But when every single one of your designs looks like that, it's a little bit harder to sell. Now, a lot of my designs are text based and text heavy. But at the same exact time, I try to make things look a little bit different or add something very simple subtle and small to certain designs to make them pop. So for example, this right here is one of my dollar sign logos, right? All I did on this one, this is a regular standard single color hot split transfer from Transfer Express. All I did on this one was add a small stroke around here and then I put a stroke on the outside of it just to give it that little gap around it. See what I mean? If it didn't have that stroke, it would just be a plain straight dollar sign. But outside of that, adding that little stroke helps. Now, what a lot of us do is we get used to creating for vinyl. When we create for vinyl designs, we kind of get stuck into flat designs because the vinyl is flat. We're not printing, we're cutting vinyl and then putting it onto a t-shirt. So doing stuff like that by adding a stroke and then a stroke around that one gives it a little bit of separation. Nothing really crazy, but it just gives it a added touch. Now, here goes my big Brando logo, which is a dollar sign B. And this one right here from far away just looks like a regular standard B. But when you get up close in there, there's a slight bevel to the B. You see that? You could see the bevel around the edges. It's not crazy. It's very subtle. From far away, if I was wearing it, it just looks like a flat vinyl B. But up close, you could tell that there's a bevel in it. You wouldn't be able to create that with vinyl. So the reason why I do stuff like that is so it doesn't just look flat. From far away, it might look flat. Like if that's the look you're going for, cool. But I add a little bit of bevel to the letters just to make it pop a little. Since we have the flexibility with using people like Supercolor to print your transfers, instead of just having them print that thing flat white, add a small little bevel to it, add a little shadow to it. That way, when somebody sees it, they'll be like, oh man, there's a little bit of dimension to it. It's like, here's another example right here. This shirt's pretty wrinkled. This is a shirt I wear and it's been washed, but let me try to get it in there. There's a bevel on these letters also, but there's also a drop shadow behind the letters to raise it up off the weapons that are in the background. Very, very small drop shadow. You could see it in the O's of Bloodline and you could see it in the LIN on the handles of those weapons, there's a slight little drop shadow just to lift it off of the background, which is the weapons, right? So the text is basically floating on top. On top of that, there is a small bevel on the letters. 
Now, easily, I could have just put flat letters on top of this and it would have looked cool. But since I have the freedom and flexibility to add small things like this tan bevel to these letters, add that drop shadow against the background to make it lift off of the background, using people like Supercolor to print my transfers, I have that flexibility now, so why not use it? You know what I mean? It's all about getting your mind out of doing vinyl and just single or double color transfers to being able to use effects and stuff like this this on your transfers. I do this to almost every text design that I do now because I can, right? It's just having that added flexibility and freedom, like I said, to now create separation and now create a different effect onto the text that I already put on the t-shirt. This right here is another example of flat text, right? No bevel, no nothing on this bottom text down here. But if you Going close to the actual text, you can see there's Polynesian patterns within the text. There's a white stroke around the blue, and then there is a drop shadow inside the letters. So you can see the shadow within the corners up here. So it almost looks like the background is sunken in into the letters. So that right there is flat text. Like I said, there's still a space for flat text with no effects on it. But then I also added the inner shadow inside the letters so it looked like the background of the letters was now. So it makes the background inside the letters look like it's sunken into the letters. And once again, that's just adding a little bit of dimension to the text. Could be flat. I could have just put those Polynesian patterns within the text and it would have looked cool But I felt I needed to give it a little bit of dimension and that's what I did These are very small basic things that you could do in Photoshop or Illustrator nothing crazy You don't got to be a professional graphic designer. I am a hack graphic designer at best I just know how to move a few things around and manipulate a little bit of text and that's it So for the last example, I want to actually show you guys is this one right here This design was done in single color and in this multicolor red, yellow, green. So I don't have the single color one with me right now, but all I did was added a stroke and a drop shadow into the text. And then I stroked around everything with white. If that makes any sense to you guys. So it gives the illusion that there's a drop shadow on here, but that's not printed. That's just the t-shirt. So you could do this easily with vinyl. If you wanted to make all of the inside that island style right there, one single color, and then you add that stroke around there. That effect, basically all I did was just knock out the shadow and knock out the black stroke that was around there. And then I added a white stroke around everything. You see what I mean? So it just gives the dimension and it gives a look that there's a shadow on there. Like there's a drop shadow underneath this text. There's really not but that's just the look. So hopefully some of these examples open your mind to thinking a little bit outside the box. Nothing crazy, like I'm not reinventing the wheel here. And there's other graphic designers that might disagree with what I'm talking about because maybe it isn't standard practice or visually it doesn't look exactly the way that it should. This is just stuff that I like and stuff that I feel since I am getting multicolor transfers printed, instead of just sending them a bunch of white designs to print flat for me, I usually add a little bit of small effects to certain things because I have the freedom to do so, but also I feel like it makes it pop off the shirt a little bit more. What I just showed you was a bunch of text designs and all of those text designs had very small minor adjustments to them to make them look a little bit different. So that way it takes you out of thinking, all right, I just gonna type out this text and then I'm gonna cut it out on vinyl and I'm gonna slap it onto a t-shirt. I'm just worried about what it says on the t-shirt and doesn't, and I really don't care what it looks like on the t-shirt. You gotta try to get your mind out of that and then start thinking about how can you add certain things to the text to tie everything in, maybe make it a little bit more symmetrical or give the false illusion that there's a shadow to something or a drop shadow to something and then you outline it with a contrasting colored stroke, like something like this. And I do this for a lot of stuff. Here's the same exact technique on this print and money design. It looks like there's a it looks like there's a shadow in there. And all I did was, so if it's held like that, it looks like there's a shadow, right? You could see it around here. That's the actual shirt. All the black on here is the shirt. It's not printed. All I did was I added a shadow. I knocked the shadow out in Photoshop. 
and then I added a stroke around everything. So I didn't print the black. The black showing through is the actual shirt, but it just gives that effect. Like I said, I do this on a lot of stuff. So I hope you guys do the same exact thing when you start creating text designs and you're creating your designs. If you have six to eight different offerings and all six and eight different offerings say something different, but it's just flat text, start adding small stuff like this to it. That way it'll start separating the designs. It'll show the dimension within the designs and everything won't just look flat and boring. All right, if you guys got any questions, make sure you leave it in the comments for me. Follow me on Instagram, BigBrandoTV. Catch you guys on the next one, man. Yep. Yeah.